Using Google Slides with an iPad. First, click on the Google Slides app. Go to the bottom right corner to start a new Google Slides presentation. You have the option to choose from a variety of templates, or you can start a new presentation without a template, which is what I'm going to do here. I'll title this Google Slide presentation, A Few Things to Know About Google Slides on an iPad. To add text, click the plus sign in the top right corner and select text. To make a new slide, click this plus symbol in the lower left hand corner of the screen. And you can choose from a variety of slide designs. I usually just pick the blank slide. Again, if you'd like to add text, click the plus sign and select text. Click the icon to the left of the plus sign to make changes to the text, to the paragraph to add shapes, and to make changes to the text size and color. Simply highlight the text that you'd like to change by pressing your finger over the text. Click on the icon to the left of the plus sign and select the feature. Tap on the text to make changes like copying, pasting, deleting, and making edits. You can add as many slides as you like. Remember, click the icon in the lower left hand corner and select any slide design you like. You can add images, shapes, tables, comments, and speaker notes. Again, adjusting the text size and color. Clicking on the plus sign also gives you an option to add lines and provides you with a menu of a variety of line options. Just like the text boxes, you can move the lines around to different areas of the slide. Click the plus sign and scroll down to add a table. It's up to you how many columns and rows you have in your table. I chose three columns and three rows. You can use your finger to resize the tables and move the tables to different areas of the slide. You can also add links to your Google slide. Highlight the text, image, or shape where you would like the link, and then click on the plus sign and scroll down to Link. You can choose to either link to another slide in your Google Slide presentation, or you can link to a web address. In this case, I'm linking to Google.com. We can test out the link by clicking on it and selecting Open Link, and then select Open Safari and it takes us to Google so we know the link works. Click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner to open up another menu and turn on the speaker notes. In this space you can write speaker notes. This comes in handy when you're doing presentations with Google Slides. You can share your Google Slides with others. Click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner and select Share and Export, and then select Share. Type the email address of the person that you'd like to share it with. Super important, you need to decide if you want the person to be a viewer, a commenter, or an editor. In this case, I'm selecting Viewer because I don't want them to make comments or edit. You can even type in a message explaining what you're sharing. You can copy the link to your Google Slides. Click on the three dots in the top right hand corner to get the menu and select Share and Export. And then select Copy Link. Now that you have the link copied, you can paste it anywhere. You could paste it in a form, you could paste it in Google Classroom, you could paste it in an email. I'll paste it here as an example. Look at the top of the screen for the play button. The two arrows to the left of the play button are undo and redo. If I click on the undo arrow, it'll remove the link I just pasted. The best way to get better at Google Slides is to use it and try out the different features. Take a moment to watch as I add an image and a shape that links to another page in this Google Slide presentation. Like everything else, you can resize the image and move it around to different places on the Google Slide.
you can color fill this shape, add text, and even add a link. I'll link this shape to the first slide of this Google Slide presentation. On the left hand side, if you put your finger on top of the slide, you can slide it up and down to change the order of the slides. Let's put this slide at the very end. Now let's link this shape to the very first slide of this slide presentation. Tap the play button for presentation mode. When I click this shape, it should take us to the first slide. And it did. Keep practicing and share this video with teachers and students.